the church has never been taught the way God speaks and how God speaks. Hallelujah. But if you want to hear God, well, number one, you need to know that God speaks. You need to know that God speaks. And also, when God speaks, you have to understand that this is God who is speaking to me. Because if you don't recognize that it's God who is speaking to you, he will not speak again. When you are seeing something which God is showing you, he's speaking. Sometimes God is speaking to you by that thing which is not changing, by that situation which is not changing. The mountain which is standing before you, God is speaking something. So God speaks to you through conviction. Even in conviction, God speaks. The Bible says, and I will give you the spirit of what? Which will convict you of what? Of sin. When you hear the spirit of the Lord convicting you of something, he's telling you to repent. That's why some directions which we give you, I can say now, do this and this and this and this and this. But I'm picking it from what God spoke to you and you disobeyed. Some of the, I'm not saying all, but some of the prophecies we give. There are some of you, you are here, God has spoken to you many times. Don't do that. Leave that thing. Leave that place, but you disobeyed. But God is speaking to you every day. 24 hours is speaking to you, but you are disobeying him. Some of you, God spoke to you, hey, leave that place and go in another, another place. You refused. When we obey God, we are not going to get any problem in life. I'm telling you. God knows where to invest. God knows where to put your money. God knows where your job is. God knows the right people you are supposed to work with. I'm telling you. The reason why we are losing even in business because we are not hearers of the voice. 